Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see some very important questions in basic electronics subject with the code BBEE103 or 203. So let us get into each module and see which are the important topics and questions you can get in exam. So this is the module wise syllabus I have taken here. So let us keep on looking at the each module syllabus and let us make some questions here so that they are very important in this module. This is the syllabus we have here starting with semiconductor diodes introduction PN junction diode. So easily we can get one question from PN junction diode. So this might be the explanation with working of PN junction diode. So explanation with working it is like forward and reverse biased in forward and reverse biased condition and you may get a question uh, here like explain the characteristics only they will not ask how it is going to work only the characteristic can be asked characteristics of forward as well as reverse characteristics only they are going to ask with some explanation you need to write okay this is a sure question we can say one question out of these two topics it can be a characteristic or it can be working of forward and reverse bias at pn junction diode and then coming to the second question here the second question we can expect is diode approximation or dc load line so this is not so important you can say but the question may be asked few times but characteristics and working of diode is very important so diode approximations and dc load line so let me take dc load line is also very important here then coming to the diode applications half wave so half wave or full wave or bridge rectifier is very very important you can easily get five or six marks if you learn half wave rectifier full wave rectifier and bridge rectifier working and while uh, writing the explanation with respect to working you need to explain the waveform also how the half wave and full waves are going to be generated with respect to those rectifiers and you may get some problem on rectifier simple problem on rectifier okay any rectifier they may take usually you will get a problem on full wave if they ask to explain half wave like that it will be and this question rectifier working can be with filter you need to explain with c filter and also pi filter they may ask usually working with c filter is most probable question asked many times in the exam so that you can expect this uh, question in the exam so working with the c filter so this is very very important you can easily expect one question from this and also you can expect one question from this and problem may be asked may not be asked so coming to the zener diode again working of zener diode is one thing they may ask uh, working of zener diode or they are going to ask or they are going to ask voltage regulator so this is very important so if i am the question paper setter i will be asking voltage regulator obviously why because how you are going to understand the zener diode and it will work as voltage regulator is very very important so these questions are very important in zener diode and problem on zener diode can also be asked okay problem can be expected here zener diode as voltage regulator so these are the very important questions we can say in module 1 and coming to module 2 so if you look at module 2 bjt and fet only two things are there so first thing one question is missed in the model question paper you may get in exam explain bjt working okay bjt working can be asked then configurations configurations in the sense common base or 
common emitter or common collector. But here common base and common emitter configurations are very very important. You can get one question out of these two for sure. And then amplification. Okay. Voltage amplifier can be asked or current amplifier can be asked or amplification or DC load line how we are going to take with Q point can be asked. So if you learn common base common emitter configurations here only um, this DC load line with Q point can also be learnt with parallel. So if you write the output characteristics of common emitter or common base configuration by using that only the Q point can be derived or drawn. So you, if you learning, if you are learning common base, common emitter configurations, waveforms are the characteristics with that learn DC load line also. Even if they ask or didn't ask, you can mention the Q point how it is going to be taken. That will fetch you full marks. And then coming to the field effect transistor here, the two important things are J fit and another one is MOSFET. Okay, J fit working and MOSFET working is very very important. So usually J fit N type J fit and N type MOSFET will be asked in exams many times. So MOSFET working is very important and J fit working is very important and common base common emitter configurations are important. And here you may ask uh, questions on alpha and beta of BJT and may ask problem also here uh, how the alpha and beta will be calculated on uh, IC, IB and IE values with taken those values. So these are the questions we can expect from second module. Now let us look into the module 3 here we have operational amplifiers and applications. So here also easily you can expect question. I think getting marks in basic electronics is very easy if you learn the particular concepts very clearly. Why because if you learn common base configuration in the same way you will understand common emitter also in the same way you will understand common collector also. So here also in op-amp if you understand one inverting configuration in the same way you are going to derive for non-inverting configuration also in the same way you are going to derive for integrated differentiator also so these are very important questions repeatedly asked in exams so uh, these are very important and you are not supposed to skip these topics for exam so in module 3 if you look at the first question i say is block diagram of op-amp it is asked in the question paper also. So it consists of uh, different amplifier stages. So you need to explain what are all those stages is going to do to get the amplification. So block diagram is very easy. You need to explain each and every blocks. Then coming to the characteristics. I recommend ideal characteristics of op-amp. So ideal characteristic of op-amp is asked many times. So you need to explain input resistances, uh, sorry, input impedances infinite, output impedance is zero, and bandwidth is infinite like that. Here uh, you can see gain, input resistance, output resistance, bandwidth. So these things you need to remember what is the ideal value and what is the practical value. And then you may get to explain differential amplifier okay this is that is not so important as per my knowledge coming to inverting and non-inverting amplifiers these two are very very important these two are very very important you will get one question from these two for explanation or derivation for gain and you may get problem also on this okay it is very simple uh, you need to calculate the input side resistance or the feedback resistance or the gain which is required and then uh, second part here op-amp applications here again inverting configuration non-inverting configuration is there differential configuration voltage follower integrator differentiator i recommend integrator and differentiator so these two are very very important 
many times integrator and differentiator is asked to derive the uh, output expression okay with waveforms so you need to learn these three without miss you are not supposed to miss these things you will get one question sure from inverting non inverting amplifier and integrator and differentiator then you can have one more question here if you take okay voltage follower can be asked it is an application of non inverting amplifier circuit uh, i will add one more concept here it is very important summer it is adder or we call it as op amp summer for three input and voltage follower so even if you neglect voltage follower this summer is very very important okay summer will be asked many times otherwise you will get problems on summer also so coming to module 4 module 4 is of digital electronics uh, you will have boolean algebra and combinational logic so if you see syllabus here binary numbers and then uh, hexadecimal numbers so other number systems basic theorems of boolean algebra and functions canonical forms so standard forms so here the main thing one thing is that conversion from one number form to other is very very important so they will ask this question for sure you can expect binary to decimal decimal to binary decimal to octal like that and the second question you can expect here is with a uh, properties also properties of boolean algebra so properties of boolean algebra can also be asked sometime they have asked in digital electronics many um, if you see question papers and coming back to canonical and standard forms they may ask to write uh, sop and pos forms and also they may ask to just explain what is sum of product how it will be and product of some expressions how it will be and min terms and max terms and then coming to the um, digital logic gates basic gates are you can say logic gates logic gates and truth table is very very important many times they have asked this question and the next question is universal gates and implementation of basic gates so this question is asked many times well, which are universal gates and implement the basic gates like and gate or gate using nand gate or only nor gates like that and simplification of boolean expression this also be asked many times usually you will get a simple expression uh, using boolean laws you need to simplify to the uh, very simple form that is what the question you will get in 5 to 6 marks and very important question here is half adder and full adder you will get half adder full adder for sure in uh, exam question paper if you see any question paper you will get full adder half adder uh, to explain with that circuit are to implement using basic gates and uh, they may ask to write the full adder using two half adders also that is also sometimes asked so these are the very important questions from module 4 we can expect coming to module 5 it is transducers inductive capacitive reactive resistive transducers and communication system so here the first question is that explain resistive or inductive or capacitive transducers out of these three one question will be sure other than that if you in particular they may ask like potentiometric transducer or they may ask um, you can see the model question paper here there they have asked uh, resistive transducer in particular uh, photodiode like that you will get questions or piezoelectric transducer 
like that so piezoelectric is many times asked in the exam so we can put here piezoelectric transducer you need to just explain with the block diagram how the working of that will be and then coming to communication block diagram is very important so block diagram of communication system it is very important as per uh, 5 to 6 marks and you need to understand the modulation modulation and its necessity or you can say why modulation is required or need for modulation so this question is also very very important so which are the things i am mentioning here with this blue uh, indication are very important for exam you are not supposed to skip if you are going to learn by choosing the topics okay and then after modulation and communication system you may get questions on noise explain what is noise and what are the uh, explain about the channel so these questions you may get and we can add one more question here like uh, potentiometric transducer so these are the questions you can expect in basic electronics okay and here in my youtube channel you can see the basic electronics uh, playlist which is yeah there over here you will get most of the topics which we have seen in the syllabus you can see pn junction diode half wave full wave rectifier and bjt common base common emitter uh, characteristics alpha beta relationship and then op amp inverting non inverting amplifier integrator differentiator and how to convert numbers you can also cross check your calculations for number conversions using a calculator that i have shown here in this video and then logic gates number conversions and op amp topics inverting non inverting integrator differentiator you can also see model question paper solution which i have given and problems on op amp and problem on voltage regulator and mosfet working so these are the topics which i have discussed you can also see jfit over here and logic gates also so number conversions so these are the topics very important in basic electronics so you can expect these questions which i have mentioned here easily in exams so this is about important questions of basic electronics let us see other subject important questions also in my next video thank you